I'm Dan Huff, the project manager for the construction of the Atascadero City Hall. The project was originally generated due to an earthquake that occurred in December of 2003. There was a lot of damage done to the building and the damage was deemed that this project would fall under the jurisdiction of, of FEMA, which will provide federal funding for the restoration due to a natural disaster that occurred. It was a very busy and productive first year at the Atascadero City Hall project. We restabilized the entire building starting from the foundation all the way to the very top of the dome. And that work included putting in new piles, new pile caps under the existing foundations, new shotcrete walls around the entire perimeter of the interior of the building from the basement level all the way to the top of the third floor. From the third floor up, we put in a fiberglass reinforced polymer system on the brick walls on the interior. And then at the very top, we went uh, through and put in new structural steel in with the existing structural steel, added new framing construction and stabilized the upper dome of the building. One of the key elements, of, I think, of the success of this project so far is that Bernard's really has assumed a, a somewhat like a general contractor role as they're coordinating the different uh, groups and, and contracts that are there, and it saved the, the city a tremendous amount. I mean, one of the big concerns was that was going to lead to conflicts and scheduling problems, and one contractor is going to be stepping on another contractor's toes. But they've really done a good job, you know, managing that and. Uh, keeping kind of a good you know, community spirit amongst the contractors themselves. Um, that this is an important project, it's a historic project, and I feel like they've kind of facilitated that uh, coming through with all the contractors, instilling in them that, hey, this is something special we're working on, let's all uh, you know, work together you know, to get this thing done. And it's, uh, I think it's helped a, a lot. Uh, we're extremely proud to be part of the uh, restoration of the historic City Hall in Tascadero and we're proud of being, uh, being able to bring it back to the community and, uh, and being part of restoring that to the community and the people of Tascadero. It very much is a time capsule and it's one of the reasons that the Historic Society here has been so involved. As I mentioned, this was really the centerpiece or the masterpiece in E.G. Lewis's mind about a Tuscadero. We're trying to preserve history in what we're doing. This is not a project that you fast track and blow and go on and push hard. We're so used to driving a project really fast and hard to drive toward finish. You can't do that on this job. It's uh, very, the work on it is meticulous. We're dealing with uh, a hundred-year-old building, we're, we're renovating, reinstalling existing pieces of the building. So this has been a project that just kind of seems like it moves slow, but it's, it, it's just by the nature of what we're doing here. We've been on the project, I said, for this is about two years. First year was all pre-construction bidding, some minor construction work. Last year we've been building, we've got another year to go, but we've had really great communication and, and great relationships with the city and our, and our contractor. We're, we're looking forward to the city moving in in June of, of uh, 2013.